Welcome to the Hydraulic Press Channel. Today we are going to finally answer the most important question on the internet. Which are better, inch bolts or metric bolts? And how we are going to find out? We are going to use the same setup as on last week's video. So we are going to crush the bolts and nuts until they break. And then we can see with the pressure sensor how strong they were. And the competitors that we have are one inch bolt, one inch uh, bolt with the fine thread, M24 and M24 with the fine thread, and then homemade M24 bolt. And this is similar material than these. This is just machined and these are made somehow else. I'm not sure. I'm really lousy making bolts as you are going to see today. <laughs> okay, first bolt, this is M24 times two, so it's a fine thread. And the two on the metrics, it means that the thread size is two millimeters. So it's two millimeters away from diameter. So it's one millimeter deep. And on every turn, it goes two millimeters forward. Yeah. And prediction time. I don't remember how much these were last week, but I'm going to say that this is 20 tons. And it's a bit weaker than regular M24. I think it was pretty strong. It was 35 tons and 700 kilos. And it even made like slight jump when it broke. I think we are going to pop this open with a bandsaw. Okay, here is the end result. Uh, I'm going to give an expert opinion and say that everything went to shit. <laughs> okay, and then we have regular M24 bolt. And on this, the thread size is three millimeters. So it's 1.5 millimeters deep. And every revolution moves the bolt three millimeters forward. Fine thread was really strong. I think this is slightly weaker. I say only 30 tons. Okay, 32 and 900, so a couple tons less. Surprisingly close. Yeah, I think I'm going to pop also this one open. And the results are also pretty similar. Everything is broken. Okay, and then time to make the homemade nut and a bolt. Here goes the nut. You have to first make a hole into steel bar and then cut the like nut away and then just thread the hole and you could make this bit like powered with the lathe but that's a bit risky and you need better tools so I just hand turned it but turned it out pretty nice then the bolt just first turn the like rough shape of the bolt with the lathe and then you can use the machine feed to make the threads, so you have to have the same feed as is the pitch of the thread. And yeah, this is quite easy and straightforward. The measuring of this is a bit hard, but you can just try with the nut and when it fits there, then it's ready. And you have to just cut the bolt away and then you have your homemade bolt. Okay, and here is our homemade nut. Yeah, this is a nut, it's not like a nut shape bead, it's a round nut. But round nuts are just okay. You don't have to be worried if your nuts are round. <laughs> and then the bolt, 
It's also exactly the same, it just has the round end. I'm too lazy to make this like nut shaped. <sighs> okay, I'm going to say that this is 40 tons. I believe in my own work. But I'm not surprised if it only takes 20. Looking strong. Oh! 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 We have some nut smoke. Hey! I have the hardest nuts on YouTube. The nut didn't broke at all. What the hell? My uh, bolts are not, not the same standard as the nuts. It's hard to say how much it took. I can probably uh, see that on edit. Yeah, but that was interesting. I didn't expect that. Is it hot? Maybe like 30 degrees Celsius, so not super hot. Not survives. Let's go to the inch sizes. All the freedom unit people can type down in the comments what thread is this. Diameter is one inch and eight threads per inch. Yeah, but uh, this looks a bit like broken windows. Even the last bolt was pretty stupid. So I'm going to throw the safety box here. <laughs> Yeah, if it now flies, it flies towards us, but not to the window or to the neighbor's house. Okay, and the eight inches per thread, I think it's slightly larger thread than the regular M24. So, and also the diameter is like one millimeter more. So I'm going to say that this is 35 tons. Okay. Oh, I didn't reset that. But I think I saw something like 28. Mm. Okay, there is actually the maximum force of 33 tons. So a couple hundred kilos more than with the M24 bolt. But I think we are going to now test the fine inch thread and declare the winner after that. And this is so long that it's not feasible to cut it open, but it seems that the most of the problems are not caused, not the bolt. Okay, and then the finer inch thread. This has, uh, I think this had, I have to check, but it had 14 threads per inch and one inch diameter, and I have no idea what it is, but please type in comments. <laughs> So 35 tons and something to beat on the uh, fine threads competition. I think it doesn't going to make it. Okay, so the fine threads category goes to metric threads by a huge margin, so the game is one to one, but I think the metric threads made more goals because they win with the larger margin, so it's a really close call, but I declare that the metric bolts are slightly better. <laughs> yeah, really, I don't, I don't care what bolts you guys use there, I think these are all pretty same. And I'm not sure was there any difference on materials. And we only crushed like one bolt per size. So I think this is more entertainment than science. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.